What's going on, YouTube? My ladies and my gentlemen, welcome back to another wonderful stream by yours truly, B Unit. And that is correct. What you see, we are not hunting Grookey. If you guys haven't checked out last stream from Tuesday, aka Tuesday Night Throwdown, A, battles are popping, and B, we went big. Okay? That's what you need to know. We went big. Synchronized shinies big. I'm not kidding. Egg 2,878 is the magic grookey egg. And street magic has finally come home. And we got our boy hidden ability grookey. Oh, it was, it was awesome. I think it was a pretty good reaction overall. Um, Adam and I were working really hard for grookey as you guys know. And it finally happened. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out. Feel free to do so. With that being said, we're on to our next homie, which is going to be Adaptability Skrelp, which is what we're going to be starting to hunt today. Now, before we start this part of the stream, let it be known that I have to give one to Adam because he gave me one and I bred it, and we got to get a good breed bait over to him. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing right here. So that being said, let's go check on my homie when I remember to click the right button. Wada! Wada! Oh, what it is, buddy. What it is. Nothing. I'm um, all disheveled. Finding that uh, Grookey has me. Yep, yep. All uh, disheveled. I don't have my text file set up for the counter. <whistles> oh, man. Well, I'm looking at code 39, 39, 39, 39 to get you your Scrappy. Yes, one and then you'll have a modest scrub. So some of the uh, contemplations here when it came to the scrub is did I want modest or quiet? So modest I feel has a better all around synergy because you're not losing any stats that are important. Um, but at the same time if you're playing with or around trick room shenanigans quiet's going to be better because you're going to have that lower speed tier. So the choice for me became Trick Room Shenanigans or just overall flexibility, and I decided to go with overall flexibility. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't do the best thing. But guess what? That's what we doing. So deal with it. Um, <laughs> if you guys feel like I made a mistake, let me know down below, and maybe I'll switch before I get too deep into this one. But of course, the goal is not to hit a thousand eggs. Maybe see it. Let's maybe see a quick shiny for once. Good old increments of five. Yeah, but just just maybe though. Sorry, I'll be ready in a second. I wasn't prepared. It's all right. I guess I'll just go start picking up some eggs. Oh my goodness! It's gonna holler at you in like point two five seconds. I better go get my first egg then, so I have something. Go, go, go. Oh, not even close. Wasn't even close. All right. NBA Jams. Back again. NBA Jams. You can have the OG scroll. OG. I'll give you a fine boy right there. It's a fine even boy. wearing a nice blue shirt for the, the occasion. Nice. Mine is white. <laughs> um, Adaptability. That's what it that's blends doing. in with the color of my skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I look, naked. I look naked. A thumbs up for that. Like I'm in the water. See? See? It all plays out. I got the, the blue water. hat. Looks like I'm underwater. And then the shirt color matches the color of my skin because it's white as hell, just like I am. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, it looks like I'm naked. Naked. Borderline ginger. Borderline. I mean, if you look at the red, reddish beard, you can kind of get a little yeah. bit of that in here. Gabe. All right, let's uh, let's disconnect from these they are interwebs, because I don't want to see all these little cars and stuff around. And by cars, I mean bikes, obviously. So, you know. And let's get ready to get some eggs. Adam, are you ready to get some eggs? 
extremely ready to get some eggs. So let's see how this goes. A six IV adaptability is the only thing that'd be better, so we breed more good ones. So that's all I'm gonna hang on to for now. Same here. But let's see some love in the chat for finally a new shiny hunt. Yeah. Oh, it's true. I was gonna say people are probably gonna like see that our chat our uh, streams are up and be like, what? Do they give up? <laughs> no Grookey. Do they give up on Grookey? Do they finally cave? Uh, no. And you know what? It just happened in such a magical way. So. Yep. The the, du the double boom. Double boom. It was like boom. Adam. <laughs> boom. <laughs> If you didn't see it, you have to go check it out. And then I was going to call you a stupid SOB, but then I realized PG. So. Yeah. So I'm okay, like, stupid. Uh, 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 coon. Yeah. <laughs> and then I realized after the fact that mine was square shiny. That was a. Which is incredible. Fun little tidbit. I don't even know if I looked to see if any of my, like, grookies that I got were square. I didn't. I don't I don't think you did because I don't I mean I don't recall I think the first one you got was not it was regular stars gotcha. I don't even remember how many IVs mine had I think it was just five what the last one mm -hmm. yeah we both got five IVs yeah so I have a sixer so if they release that hidden ability capsule I have a perfect one but we'll see we'll see Hatching my five garbage eggs. What? Garbage eggs? Yeah, the ones I got when I was trying to breed us an uh, adaptability. Ah, gotcha. Uh, yeah. So how have things been on your end? First five. Oh, you know. They've been. Nothing, uh... Nothing incredible lately, just doing the do. How about you? Same exact thing. Yeah. Yeah, just all I do is work, 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 work. Let me see you work, work. What? What am I doing? Working? <laughs> work, work, work. Work, work. Something you doing? All I do is work, 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 work. And sometimes a twerk, 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 twerk. I just hope that this is not one of those sets of eggs that end up hatching way faster than you get the eggs, because that will be awful. Yeah, it doesn't feel like one of those already, but uh, surprises happen. Well, when you hunt Sandy Gas, you're going to be the very sad panda. I think I might do Sandy Gas wild, maybe, but we'll see. I didn't know how easy that would be, so I obviously started. I don't it. know if that means I could do water compaction. I keep forgetting to check. Yeah, I got mine in the wild, so. All right, so then, yeah, it's a wild catch, so that means uh, if he doesn't have the right ability, I can just use ability capsule. So you catch in the wild, that means it's not hidden. Yeah, yeah, you were saying before that it's not a hidden ability. Well, maybe I did look then, and I just totally... Totally brain fired. Where is Grookey? He's not here. Thank so there's God. a whole different like animation. I'm like, oh my God! Oh. And I have different <laughs> colors to get used to. I'm not just looking for green anymore. Yeah. Oh, good I can't time. just sit here and say go green. Yeah. Now it's uh, go blue. Yeah, or I don't. Even I'm know. blue. Daba dee daba die. <laughs> I don't even know what I would do if we got one of these early because I don't think I'd be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll tell you what I would do and that is, I would feel freaking good, man. I would well, feel freaking yeah, good. Obviously, but I mean like... It's about dang time. Boom! Get out of here! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> what? I would what? Literally talking what? about that. <laughs> oh my god. Please. Please god. Be hidden ability. So I can be done with this scrap already. 
That was the fifth egg, Adam. That was the fifth egg. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm like... You know how this jealous. works, though, Adam. You know how this works. I know, but I'm super jealous right Adaptability, now. adaptability. The top four are adaptability. Hey, I had Grassy Surge <laughs> all six. God. We ready? I had Grassy Surge all six. Uh, one sec. We ready? We're ready for the witness here. All right, go. Poison touch. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, that is super impressive. Is it six IV? Five IV? I didn't even look. Uh, it's five. That's still super impressive, though. <laughs> five <laughs> eggs? You got a shiny coat, dude? Dude, don't get me wrong. I got the excite. Uh, I gotta get rid of some of these little guys down here. These don't matter. Quickest anymore. shiny ever now. You can update that, too. Yeah, quickest shiny ever. Oh my god, starting off the stream with a bang. But the wrong kind of a bang. Oop. Oh man, oh, I deleted the wrong one. Crap. Um. Brent, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, this is just the stuff that happens, man. This is this is the stuff. I was like, people. We, I, the funniest thing is we were just like literally in the middle of talking about that, and then you're just like, boom! I'm like, he's clowning. <laughs> no, no clowning, no clowning I'm today. Like, he is joking around. Oh uh, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Hidden ability capsule, right? <laughs> Yeah, if it comes out, that works. But uh, on a good note, though, let me change my little thingy here. Got a shiny and five eggs. Like, yeah, I get to put uh, quick as shiny. Oh Welcome my God. to be in its best week ever. <laughs> <laughs> Scrap and five eggs, which is great. I get to update Gruppy the shiny finally. living decks here. Because no matter what, that is a new shiny for me, so we're going up to 36. You get the Grookey out of which, the way. BT Dubs, I definitely haven't updated my shiny living dex number for a while. Um, nah. Oh crap, what do I do with my Scrappy guy? I need to get him back here. There you go, buddy. There you go. <laughs> You're not done. We talked about this last episode, too, about how, like, watch our next shiny hunt. We're going to get him so early. Yep. Well, Adam. I sure did. Yeah. And I put the eggs in the wrong box because I'm a freaking scrub. Clearly. Now I don't even know if I... I don't know which eggs are which. Crap. You gave, <laughs> you gave me... You used all your cookies, though, I thought. No, I have, uh... Polywogs. Uh, you gave me the wrong scrub, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gave you the right one so far. Because you didn't get the wrong one yet. All right, so all of these are trash. Oh, wrong, wrong thing here. Trash. 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 Oh god! When I saw four adaptabilities, I knew it was over. Well, like I said, I got the uh, five. I had five in a row. Grassy surge. So. Here we go. Move, 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 move. Well, that is a heck of a way to start. Look at this line of Grookies with a real boom in the front from a chance.com. And then it goes into <laughs> Skrill. Wait, uh, go back to the, go back to that first Grookie. Yeah. Your first shiny Grookie. Yeah. Oh, I thought it, it was it looked like it said um grassy surge. No, that's this one. That's the real boom. Yeah. But what y'all gonna do? Oh, wait, is this more eggs? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know which eggs are which anymore. Oh, I'm a mess. So I might be hatching some uh, polywags in here. So if I get a shiny polywag, forgive me. I won't be mad, though. As long as it has a swift swim. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be something? Five polywag eggs, not swift swim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I felt so good with that five egg boom, let me tell you. Oh. It's a good start, though. It's a good so I literally would have jumped right over to Polywog, and then uh, I probably would have put me in a great spot. Yeah. 
For sure. Because then essentially I've got a rain core and then I've got a, a rain core. It's like rancor, but it's a rain core. Huh. Doo -doo. Yeah. And then I got a nice little counter here with Skrelp. Uh, I think a Moongus is going to be on the docket. Okay. So just to give everybody a heads up, I think that's definitely going to be a hunt because uh, just having a counter to freaking trick room through a Moongus is so good. I think I might mirror your team because I, I am liking the team that we rented. Yeah, I I enjoy it for sure. Um, Indeedy's really good. I actually really like Indeedy. Indeedy and Rillaboom don't necessarily work well together. Yeah. So I'd have to pick one or the other to use. But, uh... Yeah, definitely some things to figure out. I mean, that team is for sure fun. I don't think I yet make the most out of it. Yeah, I agree. Because I think there's still some things that, when I was playing, it just doesn't make sense as to why that Pokemon has that thing. Or, like, there's still some things that just don't add up, so I feel like I'm not playing the team properly. So, the thing that makes it weird for me is that it's basically, like, either Trick Room or not Trick Room, right? Yeah. But there's only one Pokemon that sets Trick Room. So it's like you don't have a backup plan. If if Hat goes down, that's it. You're done. But do you think that maybe they try to they lead with Torkoal and like a Venusaur and then try to set Trick Room in the back? Um, While that might not be the best idea, sometimes if you can land a Trick Room or a Tailwind. Well, Torkoal's a monster yeah. under Trick Room because Torkoal's really slow. Okay. Turco is meant to play under Trick Room. Yeah. And I think a lot of the times you threaten early with Torkoal because you hope the opponent doesn't target your Torkoal, they target your other threat. I like, if you're leading with the Torkoal Venusaur, they're going to assume that you're Dynamaxing Venusaur. Yeah. Or Gigantamaxing. So they're going to target your Torkoal first most of the time. Or, sorry, your Venusaur. To try and knock it out. So you max guard on Venusaur, or you protect, and then you get an eruption off on uh, Torkoal, and it deals big damage. But if you get a Trick Room up, and then switch Torkoal in from the back, he just does so much freaking damage. Yeah. Did you give an Everstone to your Skrill? Yes. Okay, because I did not, so... <laughs> Yikes. I'm going to uh, do that now. Sounds like a wonderful idea. Oh, I should have brought up my toxic dice. I really love those. Good, uh, stay in the theme kind of thing. Yep. They're ten siders. I didn't do any of the six siders yet, but, uh, I just really, really like the way they turned out. Nice. Maybe if Bagel's listening, she wants to bring some up for me then. But we'll see. <laughs> if you're trying to win that Wife of the Year MVP award. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you hear the, the attic door open. She just chucks them up the yeah. stairs. Yeah. Or it's like, F you. <laughs> I'll show you Wife of the Year. But we all know Bagel wouldn't just say F you. She would say the whole thing. Cause... Yeah, she would get me my strikes. For yeah, sure. that, that sailor mouth of hers. Yeah, <laughs> that dirty, dirty potty mouth. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So with the early height. The early height. Yeah, I mean, remember that time I got a shiny and five eggs and it was the wrong one? <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Dude, it's good. It's it's the pains of hidden ability, right? Like, Yeah, for sure. I get why it's in the game. I get why they're hidden. But unfortunately, along with that comes this little thing called a struggle. I hope they do decide to do the hidden ability capsule. Just because I feel like if you take the time to hunt some of these eggs, like obviously you know, like 2878 when you didn't need to go that far, if you could get a hidden ability yeah. capsule, like that would be huge. 
Well, and to me, overall, this method's a little more painful to begin with, because you're just literally spinning in circles. Yeah. Like, at least, like, combat methods and things like that, I feel like I just enjoy a little bit more. Well, yeah, because we're interactive a little bit. Yeah, and plus there's more perks for that. There's more reasons to do it. Because you're going to get the option to get marks. You're going to get the options to get the box shiny. Like, it gives mm -hmm. you those extra options at a higher rate. Because, I mean, you can get box shiny through eggs, but it's a low rate, unless your name's Adam, and then you just get, you know, <laughs> box shiny group keys and stuff. But, yeah, no. Yeah, no. But, yeah. I'm contemplating trying a copyright-free music channel for the background and seeing if it works. I for some re I forget where it is, but I keep seeing a commercial for it. Oh, artist.io? Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, if you want to spend $30 a month. Oh. A yeah. Great idea. Love it. It's fantastic. But that kind of marketing scheme does not fit the kind of person that streams once or twice a week. Correct. I hate to say it. It's great for people that stream every day, I think. Things yeah. like that. People that are, you know, using that to make money. But I use it for fun, and I want music, and I just can't do that for $30 a month. No. Um, Again, yeah, if, if your stream was, even if your stream was just making enough money to pay that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it Maybe would I'll still try. be worth Sorry. It. I'm going to try some of this in the background and see what happens. You found a website? Um, so... When I made my intro, there is a YouTube group called No Copyright Songs. Okay. And it's what, in a lot of videos online, you'll hear music come from there. So it's just like music that's approved for no copyright. And most people would use stuff like that. So I'm going to see if it works. If it doesn't, then crap. But... <coughs> He's willing to risk it on the video evidence of getting five <laughs> egg shiny. <laughs> yeah. Biscuit, bolt, biscuit. It's just light background music. Let me know if that's too loud, guys, and or if it drowns out Adam. I would hope it doesn't, but... I would hope it doesn't, too, but I can always turn you up if I need to, so... Yeah, I got room to turn up on my microphone, too, I tweaks some settings. I can always turn down the music, too. But it kind of breaks up the silence a little bit, you know what I mean? For you. I don't have game sound, <laughs> so it kind of sucks. Yeah, I have the air conditioner. It's great. Yeah, the air conditioner's good music. I what, I what I should do is figure out a way to separate your audio and like if I had other audio, because I'm just capturing my desktop audio to begin like in general. Gotcha, gotcha. There's gotta be a way to separate it. Somewhere there, I'm sure there is. I'm not looking at here. Three. Three. I like how Streamlabs didn't warn Bagel about spamming emojis. <laughs> I think I turned that off finally. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, Ditto's putting in work now. I like this. Oh, this is round 15. Dur I would appreciate a legitimate boom. Yeah, I think the problem with waiting for the hidden ability capsule is that the whole meta is going to change by the time it comes out. Because when Crown Tundra comes out, there's going to be new Pokemon in the mix like legendaries and stuff like that. So we're going to get a new competitive meta and we're going to have to yep. farm some new stuff anyways. So it's hard for me just to be like, yeah, I'll totally just wait for that to come out and then give it to all these Pokemon that might essentially get phased out at that point. Well, yeah, and who knows what the price of an ability capsule is going to be anyway, so. Yeah.
But like I said, the good news is I'm going for a shiny living deck, so one way or another I need two of these bad boys anyways. So I'm not as heartbroken as I could be. True. Very true. Sorry, I was just setting my phone up for uh, some viewer thing. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on something. So. Viewer thing. <laughs> some viewer thing. I, I just need to keep an eye on some stuff. So. Okay. Adult content. I get you. Uh, no. I'm not just kidding, adult man. Content, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just playing, player. Just playing, player. Hiya, player. Yep. Let's get. Oh god, here comes the throw. Get out of here, throw. Get your face out of here. <laughs> you gonna throw your face? I will throw your face in your face. In your face. Can't believe we're not hunting shiny Grookey. <laughs> I know, it's just. It's such a relief. I got the Grookey out of the bottom of the screen. Uh, I'm leaving the big Grookey there, even though I have a new recent shiny. Just because of all the work we put into the Grookster. Like, I can't... I can't shame the Grookster, you know? I can... Completely get rid of all that stuff. Mr. B, you can. Thank you. Ha! Yeah, I can start cleaning off the, uh... The other stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's not going to. Why would it? <laughs> Things don't work the way you want them to all the time. Oh, look at B unit on the screen. That's yeah, fine. I'm trying to like. Sometimes, just because the way it lays out, you actually have to use the arrow keys to move it a little bit. Oh, I can use the arrow keys? Yeah. Oh. Can be a little like laggy and stuff, though, so just be careful. I'm gonna go grab my toxic dice quick because I feel like I want one. All right. Burp. Burp sauce. Anonymous. Pair for all this shenanigans because who would have thunk that we'd have got that shiny Grookey? Not me. Didn't think it was going to happen. Again, Grookey decided to shine on both the unit and I at the same exact time in the time space continuum. Dan, how's your toy? Tastes like bacon? Right up. Right up. Uh, oh, man. What good? I'm back. All right. So, I got my toxic dice with me. That's what I call them. Show me! Right? So. Is that the green ones? Ooh, ooh nice. nice. Purple, oh, like purplish pink. Yeah. And green. You can't see them the greatest in the, this camera, but. Put green. your hand behind it. Put your flat hand behind it. Like, hold it with one hand and flat hand behind it. Ah. Oh, I just use your use your what left hand to hold it in front of your right hand. Like yeah, that? well, yeah. I just if you do like this, see how my screen is? Pretend your die is right here, because your hand normally gives you some depth perception. Like that. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Focused. You can see it now. The little sparkles. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, and then I got the uh, the other one of the set here. Sweet. 
Nice. So, uh, yeah. sweet deal. Pretty pumped on those. Those, uh, that was, I think, my first set that I sanded down and everything. So, a little love could be done to them, but overall, love how they came out. Sweet, sweet. Might try to nail a couple more down tomorrow. We'll see. Are you off tomorrow? Yeah. Sweet. Yes, sir. I am not, but that's okay. It's Friday. <laughs> I had to go in at like super early this morning though, so it's like I'm dragging a little bit, and then like I said, this uh, little guy's been having some sleepy issues, but it seems like tonight he might be down, which is good. Well, yeah, because he's walking all over the place, man. <laughs> yeah. Get pooped. It's a good thing. Oh, for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, mood music here. It's gentle. It's too loud. Let me know. I just want it to be nice and quiet in the background. I just want to hear it, so no singing. Oh, it sounds perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. Because when I put the volume on, I heard my voice, so it it's not too loud. It's 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 right on. Great. So I just want it to be that little little noise in the back just to give us something. Yeah. I don't know how it overlaps with the game sound, though, now that I think about it, but how did that do? Honestly, it's just sounded, I just heard the music, but I'll check again, right. so. Game sound might be a little loud compared to the music, but you could afford to turn the music up if you wanted. You could afford to turn the music up and the game sound down. It, I mean, it's not really crazy. All right. I, it it doesn't sound bad how sound it is. down a little bit, just a bit, then. Yeah. I mean, if you, I think if you flip flop the music and the switch sounds, that would be the way to go. All right. If you're trying to like emphasize some background music because <laughs> let's face it the pokemon sounds are the same They're not yeah going. you don't hear a lot of differentiation that's for sure unless you get the shiny then you get the Mathers wanted to be in petting range. That Mathers. Yeah, he got a new toy. Nice. So he put on that, but he stopped chewing on that, and then was like, yo, man, <laughs> I've been in my crate all day. You should pay attention. <laughs> Come hang with me. Hey, babe. Daddy man. Cause I'm a puppy. <laughs> He's on fire. We're 
excited <laughs> to get my new dice. Yep, definitely a good time. I'm excited for you to get your new dice. <laughs> Can't wait to see what the mystery dice are, but uh, I was uh, contemplating when I needed to spend that couple bucks, I was going to get one of those leather dice bags. Yeah. Or one of those D20 dice holders. Okay. But I, I just didn't feel like spending that much more money. You know, I needed only to spend, what, $2, so. Yeah. Apparently they had a promo up this morning. Um, you had to find it. It was eight dollars for a mystery bag, and apparently oh, yeah? that mystery bag was a prototype for a future liquid gel set, uh, where the stuff in the middle actually moves, <laughs> which so always we looks incredible. So how did you find that out via the email or like you Facebook? Follow Facebook? I'm on the Facebook uh, group and stuff, and somebody spilt the deets after it was already like sold out. But I mean that's that's a crazy idea slash set. So five more. Let's see shine. I don't actually expect to see a shiny anytime soon at this point, BT Dubs, because I already got one. But I again, will continue to fight the good fight. Luck. What's that? You again cast in your shiny luck. I don't know what the heck happened here, but. You go from not being able to find a shiny to ripping off what? That's your fourth super quick shiny? Third super quick uh, shiny? Third, I want to say. Because so, it was uh, Cinderace, it was Grookey, and then it was Skrell. And then it took me forever to get the right one. We can do it all night long. Well, now that I know we're going for Scrap, I will work on a new thumbnail. That'll be fun. There you go. We got to link up with Mr. Meg Belmont and figure out what we're going to do for our donation um, thing. Oh, it's Polywog. <laughs> What's up, Polywog? What up? Well, clearly you did mix your eggs. <laughs> yeah, I knew I did, but it's all right. Keep on fighting a good fight, right? <laughs> That's right. Maybe you'll get lucky and get that shiny just like you did with the Eevee. Maybe, and uh, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, I think I might work on ripping out like an actual video just to kind of chat a little bit what's going on, what's been going on, uh, some like ideas. An video? Yeah. Because realistically, yeah. like, I've hit all my goals for this year except for finishing the Wonderlock. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean. Uh, which, I mean, I could do. I just. It's the video editing that takes me time. Yeah. You know, it's a, that's the kind of stuff that just kills me sometimes to find time for that. The, um, yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily know what you use to video edit, but I would maybe be able to help you out with it if you need it. Uh, I use Adobe Premiere, I think. Okay. I want to say that's what it's called. I use Adobe, but. Yeah. All right. Um, I well, bought it back in the time when you can actually buy programs right? instead of rent yeah. them. Yeah. Because to me, renting programs is sucks. Silly. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, maybe I could help you out with editing, or but I still think we should all get together and do some kind of something. Yeah, for sure. I think we also should plan a, another Mario thing soon. Not necessarily, like, to specifically raise more money. I mean, we always want to raise money for kids, but... Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, like, uh... Because that seems... We seem to have a lot of success with that. And like you said, it's more of a popular... Everybody knows Mario. Yeah, I know? think it's easy for people to buy in because, like, you can make an impact to the actual, like, stream with $5. Yeah. 
and well, five dollars to me is a reasonable number to ask somebody to chip in. Yeah. You know, and too and often you go to the streams are like for twenty dollars, for thirty dollars. Like, look, like times are tough for everybody right now. Mm-hmm. You know, nobody's got like all this expendable cash. I don't have expendable cash. Yeah. I may look like it when I drop fifty bucks and I. You know, offer to put money towards the kids on these shiny hunts, but to me it just makes it interesting. And after the fact, I gotta figure out where that money came from. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, I went back and I was like, oh, I donated ninety dollars. <laughs> yeah. Great times. Great times. But you know what? It's a tax donation. Right Absolutely. Off. Absolutely. Because I love the kids, and I don't do it for the tax write-off by any means, but. It's for a good exactly. cause, it's charity, so to me it's even more worth it. But, yeah, I will tell you this much, your tax write-off doesn't really kick in until you get to the $50. Well, Adam, wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. <laughs> the only reason I know that is from the Flyers Wives Fight for Lives carnival. Yeah? Yeah, because, Probably oh, won't. 6 IV, adaptability, let's go! Oh, you got one? Yeah. Nice. You're gonna you're gonna wanna put that guy in. Uh oh, is this two polywags? Polywoggles? But yeah, I think I spent like two hundred dollars at that carnival and it's all for charity, like all the proceeds go to charity. Yep. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll put that on my taxes. Go to put it on my taxes, it's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so like, cool, that's that's fantastic. Thank you for that. That's why we do nice things, to get reminded that it doesn't matter. What? Just like our opinions. <laughs> what are opinions but things that don't matter? I'd like to take my Pokemans back. Give me that Skrill. That beautiful Skrill. No, keep the ditter. Keep the ditter. Give me that held item. Oh, I screwed up. Take the new scroll. Double six IVs. Maybe I'll get lucky and get it in my next five eight. <laughs> there you go. One can hope, right? For sure. One thing I'm thinking about trying on my uh, Dragalgy. So the one we're playing with has uh, Hydro Pump. Yeah. Which obviously deals a crap tune of damage. Yeah. But I'm thinking of giving him flip turn instead. Dude. So that's a, a water type move with, I think, base type 60. And it switches him out after he attacks. Okay. So let's say, for example, you're starting off and the leads that you're facing are Grookey and whatever, right? Grookey yeah. does not want to hang out in that occasion. Yeah. So you know that Grookey's gonna switch. Yep. Right? Grookey's not risking no poison shenanigans up in here. Yep, which yep. would definitely one-shot it because it's a Dragalgy. So he switches, you use a slow flip turn, so you end your turn essentially dealing damage to whatever switches in or the other uh, Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And getting to put in whatever you want from your back line to match whatever that Pokemon is. Nice. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. And you don't often see too much positioning plays, I think, in doubles. Which is why I like that that Urshifu that we play with has U-turn. I, I uh, in one of my battles early, I had a guy constantly switching his positions. Now, that's a rare occasion, but um... Yeah, but it happens, right? Yeah. It was frustrating, to say the least, but I was using a lot of split um, moves, so... Yeah, but sometimes it's what you have to do, you have to just keep repositioning yourself to get a formidable pairing. Uh, 
Yeah, the only thing I'll have to have All right. you is uh, help me with the EV training. That should be pretty easy, like, I think. Proteins and iron and stuff like that. Yeah, I think I looked up. See, this is the mod. So, essentially, the choice that you can go with is. Uh, item wise, you could go with assault vest if you wanted to. Um, so I think the one that we're using is using safety goggles. Yeah, which does what? Protects it from. Uh, what's all the things? I know it protects you from weather damage. Okay. Might protect you from stat moves too. And immune to powder and spore moves. So basically, other than yawn, they can't put you to sleep. Yeah, maybe safety goggles is the play. Yeah, that actually feels kind of good. It's little things you don't notice until. Yeah. So if I was doing that. So Dragalge is really good special defense. You definitely want to max his special attack. Because his whole purpose is to do damage. So the question is, do you want to go with full HP? Um. Uh, if I were to pick something, and this is not a normal build I would do, but I think it makes sense. Um. I would say we go 244 HP. I'm gonna write this down, so hold on. Twelve defense and two fifty-two spa. So what that will do, the reason we put those extra points into defense. Yeah. Is because minus crits, it guarantees us to live a max airstream from Cinderace. Nice. Now, what, uh. Like an ass um, what's the difference between, like, attack moves and special attack? Um. Whether it's an attack or a special attack, essentially. Yeah, but and that sounds know? stupid, I know. So, if I went to. Let's see, how can I do this? way that makes sense. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Shoot. So let's check out NBA GMs for a second, okay? Yeah. NBA GMs has some moves here, okay? Yep. You see where it says category? Mm-hmm. The symbol next to that says what kind of move it is. Okay. So the circles mean special move. Okay. That kind of starry thing means physical. All right. So right now he has two special and two physical moves. All right. All right. So he's not necessarily going to be the most effective in battle because you don't know which stat he's more built in. Yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down now. So when you pick the moves for your Pokemon... You want to make sure that those moves align with the typing you have, or it doesn't if that's the relevant thing. So what you'll see as a strategy is, uh, like when I was hunting my Riolu, right, mm -hmm. for my Ludicolo, yeah. I was looking for something that had the ability, I want to say, is it Defiant or Justified? I think it's Justified. So that ability is whenever it's hit with a dark move, it gets an attack plus one. Mm -hmm. And essentially, uh, you have your partner Pokemon use beat up on you, which if it used on the first turn will attack you four times and do almost nothing. Okay. It does almost nothing because you put beat up on a special type Pokemon, and it's a physical move, and you build your stats to be special, so it just doesn't, it's not meant to do damage. Yeah. So you're just basically using it to chip your guy away a little bit and give him plus four attack. Yeah. Which makes him ruin everyone. Huh. 
Ruin everywhere. Yeah, the one thing I like I liked about the team we rented, it seems like there's a good coverage move wise across the board. Like I like that Skrelp has four different types of moves. In the sense of like there's a dragon move, a water move, a normal move. Yeah. Skrelp's there to come in and just do work. <laughs> or sorry, uh, Dragalgy. Dragalgy. When you have your support mons, you have your sweepers. That Urshifu is real nasty. Yeah. Most of the time, I find myself using Dragalgy, Gorkul, uh, Urshifu, and Venusaur. It's a good mix. Um, I, I like that Venusaur can put things to sleep. Because, like, like you said, most of the time you're gonna people would think you G max it, but depends what you lead with, you know. Yeah, if you use that as like a support where you can poison something or sleep something. Yeah, you definitely have options with it. You just gotta be careful because like somebody's using a Cinderace and they see a Venusaur, they're like, uh huh. Oh, yeah. Like I got your number, boy. With the 83 moves I could do. Yeah. Polywag! Polywag. 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 Polywag was a very frustrating hunt for me in Let's Go because his shiny blue is so, so close to his normal blue. Yeah, you gotta almost hope that you see the uh, stars around him. Yeah. If not, I technically hatched probably five eggs, getting us the adaptability egg, so. <laughs> yeah. We'll say I'm even. I want 10, I want five. Beautiful Skrill. Love you so much. Please don't give me, shine. Give me shiny eggs. Give me, give me shiny eggs. Shiny eggs, give them to me. Shiny eggs. You still didn't get a six IV? Nah. If I get another one, I'll I'll send it your way. Appreciate I have for you. Sounds fantastical. Finally got five eggs built up. <laughs> nice. Nice. Are you working all weekend, buddy? Oh yeah. You know it. Because all I do is work, work. All work, I do is work. 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 work, 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 work. Telling you, we gotta make a parody CD. It just has to happen. We can do it. For real. We can talk with him. We make beautiful music together. Yeah, we got a little brawny on a track. Because if you let me, I'll feed yeah. you a fry. While you try to drive, buddy. Yeah. Remember, safety first, kids. Always wear your seatbelts. Damn right. <laughs> and don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. It's bad for your health. It's bad. And for other people's health. <laughs> More the other people's health. <laughs> but also partially for yours. So. Keep, you keep it real up in here. Be responsible. Be responsible. 
responsibility. Sometimes, yeah, I yawn. No, um, <laughs> don't you hate when sometimes it feels like you're just going around in circles and nothing's happening with the nursery lady? So you, you gotta make her move, like just almost like keep frozen. spinning, just keep spinning. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, when I feel like she's frozen, I make her turn. <laughs> it's another polyword. Polyword. I've got to be almost through these polywogs at this point. Probably. Uh. You say that and then you find out you've had a polywog in there the whole time. <laughs> nah. Oh, snap. Didn't want to go that way. Nah, no, my other uh, nursery is all polywag right now. All polywag. Polywag. I don't have a oh, six you, yet, so it's You got a... polywag on Route 5. Yeah. Trying to get my rain setter. That would be... I think Poliwag would go great with Trichology. It definitely could. It's a little unexpected. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but I don't know how that would work with, um... Oh, Rillaboom, though. Uh, if you're facing a Rillaboom, that probably wouldn't be necessarily ideal. No, I mean, like, if you had a Rillaboom... I, I think Trichology and Rillaboom on a team would be great. Oh, if you have, like, a Rain Setter and a Rillaboom? Yeah. That's fantastic. Because oh, yeah? the rain makes the fire moves weaker. True. So until they set up sun or something, you basically um, don't have to worry as much about fire being the biggest threat. You're now just worried about air. Got it, got it. So you need something to take out those flying types um, between the two. So you really don't have something there between Dragalgy and Rillaboom. Too bad you going to bust out a Rotom Wash. It's Could your fourth in fact <laughs> bust out a Rotom Wash. Or a Rotom Heat. Yeah. Just to make things even more confusing for your opponent. Well, it's definitely all about coverage, man. Yeah. You know what really sucks about you getting that shiny on five eggs, though? That I got 512 to go? <laughs> but no, it, well, you yeah, that, but it just, it, it almost feels like we're, there's no topping. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe a first or second egg shiny, but that's going to happen maybe in the future sometime, but you just set the bar way too high right there. <laughs> it does happen. Yeah, I think I got I think I got my Squirtle in like 30 some eggs. Not bad at all. 30 or 50, something quick, relatively. It was impossible to tell too. Yeah. Because it's like a little bit of a lighter blue, I think, and, or teal, and then apparently his shell is a different color, but you can't see his shell. Yeah, his shell's different. green, I think. Yeah. But when you can't see the shell, it doesn't help. <laughs> All right, agreed. You let me. I'll feed you a scrill while um, you yell yeah. for him. I want adaptability. Give me adaptability. Adaptability. Give it to me. Give it to me, hey, hey! Give it to me, give it to me! More. Give me, give me. Oh, so. <laughs> Today after work, I, you know, let the vlog out, it was great. Yeah. And, you know, we would say hi, and then normally we go outside and get, burn off the pent up energy. Yeah. So there's, well, we're throwing Frisbee out in the yard, and he's hopping around, hopping around. And normally, he just takes it off down the yard trying to go get a head start in the Frisbee. Yeah. Well, this time, I, like, I whip it. Like, I go to throw the Frisbee really hard, and he jumps right in front of my hand and eats a Frisbee to the face. Ooh. <laughs> and the best part about it was he gets down, he backs away. Like, did you just hit me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> 
But then every time I just go to soft toss in the frisbee, he's like running away, acting like he's gonna get beat for the thing. Like oh, I just I was laughing because at first he's like I just get smacked. What happened right there. What did he do? No, it wasn't even that. It was more like a disgusted like, did you really just do that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh and then afterwards he was like kind of scared of it. He'll play, but he was just scared like if you soft toss it to him. Like he's the same way, he's got these super rubber bouncy balls and yeah. he um he went to catch one out of midair and it bounced in front of him and like hit him in the chest or something like that. And now he doesn't like when they hit him. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, no one likes when they get hit with balls, you know? No, not at all. Especially when yours are gone. Yeah, yeah especially, especially rubber bouncy balls, you know? I don't know about bouncy balls. All right, take it easy, be unit. Let's get the Chinese. Let's make them special. Special. I think it'd be great too, because we could, if we make a, we should make a CD of parodies. One could be like a rap song, and the next could be a country. So could you imagine us singing a country song? Like, <laughs> I would. It would be um, epic. It would be epic. It'd be bad. It would be bad. <laughs> Real bad. <laughs> I love my tractor more than I love my woman. I drink whiskey. Yeah, that's all I got. I don't, I don't got much else. You were going somewhere and I, I just wasn't following. Well, obviously you weren't prepared for country music. It's not. I just... Oh, Bagel thinks that's right rude. Oh, I, don't, I don't see you doing better, Bagel. Yeah, get up here and dance for craps. Baby, I'm amazed by Skrill. Oh, yeah. She's in her undies because it's too hot. YouTube will shit you down. There she is, swearing, not even being in the room. <laughs> what I deal with every day. Um, but anyways, uh, I don't know, I'll be back in like 30 minutes or so, so. In 30 minutes? <laughs> because she's in her undies, I got it. There you it. go, I there you go, it. there you go. I was like, do I need to go get a broomstick and come visit? <laughs> Just broomstick! You could name this one Bron 2. <laughs> <laughs> Bron 2 Yeah. Not Brontosaurus, yeah. Bron 2 -saurus. And look at her, is that all? Try and talk big there. Oh. Hey Bagel, put some clothes on and show us your crabs dance. Adam <laughs> buy games with that five dollar juicy donation. Thank you, Adam, for your sweet, sweet donation. We we wanna see the crabs. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, Bagel. I'm Love feeling it. a poop coming on, so I might have to. I poop. Feel a poop. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Fitz? Huh? Mr. Fitzgerald, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. So as we're here hunting something new in great B unit fashion, I got the shiny in five eggs, and it was the wrong one again. <laughs> so I stayed true to my uh, pains for sure. Oh, 
all bobbies. Bobby, I can't miss the crab dance, okay? Gosh. You never know when it's going to come out of nowhere. I know. He's like, he wants to go and out. And she's going to have to do it slow motion so that uh, she doesn't wake up the baby. Better. I could always text Sarah, but I feel like she gets angry when I text her. Inside. <laughs> like, hey, I'm with the dog, but I could use you to come inside and let the dog out. <laughs> it's just like, hey, could you grab the remote for me, even though it's right next to me? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to go with the dog out. Yeah. Hey, can you get I... me a slice of pizza in that box that's literally uh, right there? I just yeah. don't feel if like I getting miss, up. If I miss the crab dance, it's, I'll just pay for it again. You can always rewind. I'll pay yeah. for it again. <laughs> <laughs> if I miss it, I'll just make it happen again. Yeah, yeah. All right, be right back. I'll lead you covering up the screen. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Right when he left. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it quietly because the baby's sleeping. I, I literally just said that too. Oh, did you really? do it really quietly so she doesn't wake up the baby. And he just went to let the dog out. <laughs> so he was just like, yeah, I'll just donate another $5 if I miss it. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, fine. Let him donate another $5. I'll wait. I must have missed it. Did you get a Grookey, sir? Yes, Mr. Fitzgerald. Uh, I'm going to put up an actual just video to watch, I think, sometime soon. Um, but on Tuesday, after Tuesday Night Throwdown, Adam and I are both hunting the Grook again. And we both got it on the same exact egg hatch. So for me, it was egg number 2,878. And for Adam, he just blocked his screen, so I can't see which one it was, but it was 1,900-something. Yeah, I'll pull him up as soon as his scrap patches. Did you hear me come in? No, because I have headphones in. Oh. I actually have background music today. Yeah, I know. Give me a little entertainment. I can do without it. What? I can do without it. Ow. Ow, he's abusing me on camera. Ow, seriously, that hurts. What, what, what upset me? Ow. Ow. Stop. What are you doing with my dice? I don't know, I'm just playing with your sofa. I forgot I'm to get that. Did you not get molds for the What's that? Did you not get molds for the pen? Yeah, I got the massive 10 mold and then oh, the normal size massive. 10 mold. Because apparently that's what they send. They send a massive 10 mold. Alright, here we go. For Fitzy, let's show him some street magic. Oh, shoot. Ooh. There he is, Fitzy. My boy, street magic. Not yet evolved. Good stats, good shine. Grassy Surge, Street Magic. And here's the shiny I got on stream so far today, which is not adaptability, it's Poison Touch. So that's uh, what we got so far. That's just my, oops, I gotta go back to my egg box. So, much hype there, much hype indeed. Put a dice in a mold. <laughs> I made it. It's not the equivalent of making a dice. You didn't see. I made it, made it. I went to Oh yeah, what color is that? Turquoise. What's it actually called, though? Turquoise. <laughs> it's called... Bugaboo! Yeah, how's your painting going? Okay. Oh, is Brownie still asleep? Yeah. That's good. I think so. Maybe it's happy. Hopefully not. 
Alright, I'm going back. It's too hot up here. Alright, I'll, I'll let you know when Adam donates another $5. Alright. <laughs> and Fitzy laying it down on Adam. Nice. He said, sorry to say, sir, she did do the crab dance. Okay, I'm back. He's back, though. Oh, oh neck cramp. That's not good. Nah, you're right, though. Fitz, you, did you tell him that he has to go back and watch the video? Did I tell Fitz that? Yeah. No, I said I'm going to release the video. I'm going to clip both of our reactions in, I think. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, since we both went live, I should be able to pull them both up. I might try to do that tomorrow during nappy time. Nap time. Good times. I did show him street magic though. Street magic. You did miss the crap dance though. It's okay. I can I can re I'll rewind them. As as I predicted it had to be a quiet crap dance because she only wake up the baby. There she is. Crab dance. Crab dance. A little pre crab stretch. Oh, yeah. What's good, B Unit? You sound like you hit a wall there, buddy. Nah, I good. Alrighty. I'm just focused. Focused by a gun. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I'm a little tired because I had to get up super early for work, so I got a little bit of that dragging me a little bit, but I'll be eight. Like I said I probably won't go super late tonight, but fine.
we are okay. Mysterious Skrelp. Say Mysterious Skrelp? Yeah. You got it in five eggs, maybe I could get it in 55 eggs. That'd be legit. And then Brent can get it in 555 eggs. <laughs> hey now, hey now. Hey now. We don't wish that shenanigans on one another. That just meant I would get 5,555 eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I need my 55 to actually count. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I'll do that upside down, so it doesn't work. Uh, Did you get your 6 IV yet? Nope. Rough. Yeah, just the way it is sometimes. I like my little dice mold to make my own dice. Nice, That's nice. for a 6 sider. Okay. I got and my D twenty here. Do you just throw that in the oven then, or like nah, how? Use resin, bro. Hey. Like hey. Uh, for these, these would be UV resin. Okay. And then uh, you literally shine an ultraviolet light on it for like a minute. So oh, I have geez. an ultraviolet flashlight, and then okay. it hardens. You're done. And you just gotta like finish it. Nice. So. That's easy. Yeah, pretty neat. I mean, there's definitely some stuff I want to learn how to do before I actually start doing it. And yeah. I think I've got, like, the sanding and the finishing part down, which is cool. Yeah. Um, just through doing some other dice. I just want to make sure... I'm working on a specific set for my, the campaign I'm going to be playing at the end of August, I think. So... Yeah. I'm just trying to get that one finished because... Uh, I did the D10. I did... I think a D6. D4... D2, but I haven't done like the D20 yet, which is going to be important, so but that one's going to take like the longest. Yeah. Looks like d and is going to be fun for you guys. Yeah, it'll be fun to get back into it. I mean... How many people do you got playing? Uh, I think it's going to be a campaign of four. Okay. I think. But there's still some details we got to iron out and stuff like that. So it's not something I've done in a long time, and uh, are you just gonna meet at like Cash's house, or that's what we gotta figure out if it's gonna be like online or if it's gonna be uh, a meetup or whatnot based on what's going on. So, cause, I mean, Cash is thirty minutes away pretty much for me. So yeah, that's by the time right. we get all of our schedules to work out, it's an hour worth of driving for me. And if we're doing it late at night, like yeah, not as easy, and it puts a lot on the waifu. Yeah, so. Nice, nice. Yeah. I have to learn how to. Uh, I've never played D and D, so. Yeah, it's definitely different. You can tell in a group who hasn't played that kind of stuff before. Because like you literally just have to like be the character. So like okay. whenever you're talking, you're talking as the character. You're not talking as yourself. Okay. So when you say stuff out loud. If you got, like, a legit question, maybe, like, the DM will let you, like, ask it. Of, yeah. like, the DM, or if you have something directed at the DM that makes sense, you might ask him that. But other than that, like, if you say, hey, guys, what do you want to do? Like, that's in-game. So, yeah. like, if you're trying to sneak up on something, and you're just like, all right, guys, what do you want to do? Like, he's going to be like, uh, he heard you, and turned around and threw a fireball at your face. pretty cool though. Yeah, definitely neat. Something different. Gets the brain going. Yeah, and it also requires whoever's being the DM to be... they have to be sharp as well. You know? Absolutely. It's probably a 
the hardest part is having a DM that can stay on top of the party. Oh, yeah. And then do you have like health bars or how do you determine what your health is? Um, so there's a giant book that you get basically okay. that introduces you to character character creation. All right. So different decisions that you make within creating your character will help define like your health and stuff. Yeah. So you'll have hit points. And uh, at the end of the day, when you're in combat, you can lose and gain hit points. But you have a maximum number of hit points that you can have at that current state of the game. And and as then, you level up, that number changes. Okay, and then I was going to say, let's say, you know, you guys are done playing for the day. Does your do your hit points refresh? Not if you're just done for the day. You have to actually perform a rest. Okay. Interest. Interest. Yeah. Or have somebody cast a heal or drink a healing potion or something like that. Like it's boatloads of fun. Boatloads of fun. Next five for you? Yes, sir. That's what that little means. Show me your crabs dance. Bagel. Show them to me. Show me your crabs dance. Show them for free. That's my new tune. Like it or hate it, you like it.
It's the beat to Funky Town. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Glorious Funky Town. Gadget. Making me mute my microphone. You're muting it. I well, he was jumping up on the stove. He had his paws on the stove, so I had to. Oh, go. Searching for the uh, the leftovers. It's the madness. Any kind of trouble he can get himself into, he'll do it because he's a dog. You know what I really don't like about this hidden ability? What's that? Is there's two regular abilities, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which sucks. Yep. With an extra side of sucks. <laughs> it's a lot of sucks. I mean, you got four shinies to get through two abilities. <laughs> it's true. Add, it's add damn another, true. what, two eggs in? Oh, it's terrible. 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 But I feel like Skrelp doesn't want to punish me. <laughs> Skrelp don't play that game. He don't play. Skrelp tried not to, to punish you for sure. Don't play that. Don't play that game. Bow wow. So how did inventory go for you, buddy? Was it um, as brutal as you thought it would be? Or? Um, the count wasn't as bad as we thought, but just our overall strength wasn't great. So I mean, we had a lot of known shrink, so stuff that we shrunk out on purpose and stuff like that. But um, yeah. a little more unknown than I'd like to have with a high on uh, known shrink. But you know, we get it. We'll get it sorted. We'll get it all figured out. We got time left of the year, so it just sucks because with everything going on right now, everybody's paying attention to every little penny. It's true. It's true. But uh, oh, is this... yeah, 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 I got my six IV. Nice. Um. We've been pretty good at not being, like, as retrospective with Shrink, because we realize in order to gain sales, like, we have to make chances. And so far, it's paid off for us, which is good, but... Buy a bunch of Lysol wipes, you guys. will sell those like crazy. <laughs> Dude, can't, can't get those in. Like, no lie. No, I... I know it's so funny because my work actually we ordered from Staples. Yeah. And we finally got our <clears throat> three pack of Lysol wipes that we ordered three months ago. <laughs> Your one three pack? Yeah. Because we oh, we normally geez. just order them for the cleaning crew or whatever to use. Yeah. Um, and to clean down the counters in the kitchen. Okay. And uh, yeah, we just we just got them. 
And it was like, because they, we, and we called a bunch of times. We're like, yeah, nope, can't happen. Sorry. Like, we're not allowed to give them to anybody. Like, so finally, you know. <laughs> Three months later. That's crazy, man. But it's nice. I will tell you one calming thing, regardless of everything and things spreading and as bad as it gets or is getting going through the grocery stores lately it's been nice to see a lot of stuff in stock yeah. prices are more reasonable than they were um the, the panic spot i think the, the the food shortage panic well i mean <laughs> a lot of it wasn't even just panic i mean i understand some people were hoarding yeah which they're still going through everything they've hoarded so yeah there's that um but I think a lot of the business, well, some of the businesses that were struggling because of different cases and stuff that were going on where they were are kind of working through those issues at this point and able to get back on track. But, like, we're still getting stuff that's short-dated because they, some places produced assuming they'd still need to, and they're just not, they got to give a short-dated product so they don't have to throw it away. Yeah. Which is rough. Like, because... Cool show. You know, you don't want to... I can only imagine how much money restaurants have lost just because of all the food waste and... Restaurants have taken a big hit through all this, and it's it's sad. I mean, yeah, we still support uh, the one diner that we go to regularly uh, now that they're open because, you know, those people are awesome. Everybody that works there is awesome. Yep. And then we've started to support the ice cream shop across the street because it's bomb. Yeah. I got one of those too. There's one close to me, and it, they have amazing soft serve ice cream. Yeah, we have, it's uh, it's not soft serve there, but it like, okay. it's soft enough. Like right. it's you're not talking about the cup, right? No, not the cup. We're talking about the inside scoop. Oh. Okay. Across from the coop. Yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about. The, so uh, good, and their flavors are always changing. Oh, this stuff's so good. Night. The. Um, ice cream shop by my house um super nice because they have soft serve but they have this machine that infuses whatever you're like if you want oreo bits as it's serving the ice cream it has a like almost like a jet that <laughs> shoots oreo pieces into the soft serve ice cream oh, nice so it comes out as regular soft serve ice cream but it, you, they infuse it with whatever and like when you get a large it's the size of your face i love ice cream the size of my face yeah, like Sarah and I sat down, we got larges, and we neither one of us finished them. Or I think I might have been, just finished mine, like I was ready to throw up. Because oh, <laughs> it was just so much ice cream. Mm -hmm. Like, But I wasn't going to not finish the ice cream I bought. You yeah, know, you're not going to waste ice cream. cream, come on. Yeah, there's always room for ice cream. So, But it was like, oh man. <laughs> felt so obese in my life. <laughs> like, I felt like my belly button was just gonna pop out like a pregnant one. <laughs> yeah, it was so bad, dude. I was so full. So I think I'm going to have this as my last run for tonight just because I'm freaking pooped. Okay, no problem. That, I, um, I mean, that works out well for me. You're I, welcome I gotta, to keep going if you want to. Like, no, I, this I isn't a, a race or I, anything, so. No, yeah, I got a couple things I'd like to do tonight, so that works well for me. Um, oh, another 6 IV, but look, it's Poison Point. Yeah. <laughs> so those were your last five, or are you doing five more? I think those are going to be my last five. Okay. I'm going to do the five that I have in my queue, and uh, I will call it a night. Yeah, so tomorrow I'll probably at least work on my video, maybe get that up tomorrow night, but uh, okay. I'll see what's going on, obviously. I feel like I cut this one short, but like I said, I'm just uh, just a bit pooped from everything going on right now, so. Dude, not a big deal. But anyways, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, Adam will be wrapping up his last round, it looks like here, but I'm going to be peacing out. So, 
Thanks for tuning in. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Probably maybe a video coming out tomorrow, or at least the next couple days for Tuesday night throwdown, and we will continue this scroll punt at a later date. More info and fun to come. Stay tuned. Catch you guys later. Peace out.